Skype for Business is a unified communication tool of Microsoft Office 365 productivity suite, which helps you to connect and communicate with people within or outside your organization, irrespective of their geographical locations. It allows you to have instant chat with other users, audio video calls, team meetings, and share your files. You can also connect with the people who are not on Skype for Business. For better collaboration and engagement, Microsoft introduced the feature of conducting polls during Skype for Business meetings. With the help of polling feature, you can get the people involved and interact with the meeting attendees to find out what they think about the ideas you are sharing. In this video, I will show you how you can conduct a poll during Skype for Business meeting. Firstly, you have to sign in to your Skype for Business account using your Office 365 credentials. Now, to start the meeting, you can either right click on the names of the selected users whom you want to add in the meeting or if you have maintained the contacts under groups, you can right click on the group to start the meeting with the entire group. For reference, let me select the Photon Marketing Team group for the meeting. Right click on the group. You can select the option either as send an IM or start a conference call. You can choose to have a video call as well. For now, I am selecting the option as send an IM. The IM window will open. You will then have to click on the present content button. From the list, select the option as more. Further select the option as poll. Create a poll window will open where you can give a name to your poll. So for reference, let me give the name to the poll as Microsoft Teams session. Let me enter a question here. After entering the choices, click on create to create the poll. The poll will get displayed to all the attendees on their Skype for Business meeting screen. By default, the results of the poll will be hidden from the attendees. And once the attendees will respond to the poll, you can see the progress bar for each option. So here, both the attendees have selected the first option. Therefore, it is showing 100% for the first option. And you can see the number of responses here. In this way, you can make your Skype for Business sessions interactive and engaging. This is for now. If you like this feature, then hit the like button on the video and share this video with your friends and colleagues. To share your feedback with us, you can put your comments in the comment section below. To stay updated for the new videos, you can subscribe Photon Cloud Academy channel on YouTube. Thanks for watching this video.